Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be chatting about new fragrance releases, whether that be body, perfume, candles, what have you. And we're going to be chatting about them today. So I hope you guys are interested. Grab a snack because I think there's a lot of new releases coming out. So this might be a longer one. Let's scooch to the side and get started. Alrighty, so there's quite a few things to talk about today, so I'm going to try and go through them somewhat quickly. So the first new fragrance is from Armani. This is from their Privé line. This is called Magenta Tanzanite, and it's an eau de parfum. So it says it's an imaginary de declination of the Tanzanite stone, paying tribute to the warm yet fascinating aura of dawn when African savanna awakens with the sensual aura of a unique spicy blend sublimated by coffee and tobacco. So this is going to be $326 for 3.4 ounces. I don't know what ounces are. So let's just get that out there right away. It's 3.4 fluid ounces is 100 milliliters. All right, thank you. So top notes are cardamom, ginger, cinnamon. Middle notes are coffee and myrrh. Base notes are tobacco, absolute, vanilla, bourbon, And it is a premium extract. This sounds like it's gonna be lovely. Do I know where to go to smell Armani Privé scents? No, I do not. I'm not in that tax bracket. I think this would be lovely to smell. I don't even know where you could buy this besides the Armani website. I think it's very intriguing and I like that it has like a mix of cinnamon and coffee and vanilla and tobacco. Like I feel like this is gonna be a very crab pleasing scent. I'm intrigued to smell it can't afford it at this point. I already have a $300 plus perfume on my wish list and I think I'd rather get that than anything else in that tax bracket. But let me know your thoughts on this. I think this is going to be a general crowd pleaser. So there's a few new things from Sol de Janeiro in their Beja Flor scent. So the first thing is the like travel set I guess. So this is their they have Flora Cheriosa 68 cents. So this set is $30 and includes the body cream, the body wash, and the mist. So they have this in the original scent. They've just made a new set for the Beja Flora scent. And I think it's because they've recently came out with the Beja Flora scent in the body wash. So if you're interested, this mini set is available. I feel like that's a pretty good price, but keep in mind that's American dollars. And then also in the Beja Flora scent, they have released their Rio Dio. So this is their aluminum-free deodorant in the new in the Cheriosa 68 Beja Flora scent, so the pink bottle. So it's an aluminum-free and baking soda-free deodorant that eliminates odor, soothes skin, and fights ingrown hairs in the fruity floral scent of Cheriosa 68, with notes of Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit, and it's $16. So if you like the original deodorant, maybe you'll like this scent as well. Not something I need as of right now, but it's on the market. Hermes has released a new Twilly perfume. So this is Tutti Twilly. So it's a floral and fruity eau de parfum. Twilly refers to the Hermes colorful silk scarves that can be worn in many ways. Top notes are ginger flowers, heart notes are lychee, and base notes are musk. And it's coming soon. I want to know what the full notes profile is. I, I've smelled a few Twilly perfumes and they don't really float my boat. Like, it's just not my favorite scent profile. I'd be interested to smell this should it come to Sephora because there are no Hermes stores near me. But I think having like a fruity vibe would make it fun and a little bit youthful, maybe good for the summertime. But let me know what you think about like the Twilly line in general. Maybe this video won't take as long because I'm kind of going through these quite quickly. So from YSL, they have a new cologne. This is the Myself Eau de Parfum. So it's a refillable woody floral fragrance with a unique long lasting trail of modernity, luxurious and timeless with a couture black lacquer finish and the iconic logo embedded directly into the glass. Key notes are Fresh Accord, Orange Blossom, Absolute Heart and Woods Heart. So it has quite a few different size bottle variations as well. So 1.35 ounces is $89, 2 ounces is $123, and 3.4 ounces are $148, and a 5 ounce refill is $152. Those are American dollars. So I did smell this in store in Sephora. I only sprayed it on like the scent stick and not on my skin. To me, it felt very standard. 
Now, do I want to smell it again? Yes. But off of first initial spray, it felt very like run-of-the-mill, nothing quite unique about it. I love the bottle, I love the name. And if you're just looking for like a new everyday cologne, like I think this is fine. Like it doesn't stand out in any way. It's just very much like you smell it and you're like, oh yeah, this is a cologne that a designer house would release. But let me know your thoughts if you smelled it. Like I said, I want to smell it again. And I wish I liked it more because I love the bottle and the presentation, but it just didn't really hit all of the marks for me. And Orange Blossom is notoriously not my favorite. Oh, I also feel like because this YSL release is like relatively new, it might pop up in some of those like sample packs for like the holiday, you know, where you can get a sample to redeem a full size. It might pop up in some of those if you guys are curious about it too. Well, I'm at least hoping it does. From Ariana Grande, we have a new cloud. So this is cloud pink, and this is empowering and optimistic, inspired by a confidence that reveals both beauty and strength, no matter the storm. It is warm and spicy for $68 American. Uh, top notes are pink pineapple, dragon fruit, and berries. Middle is vanilla, orchid, coconut, water, blush, and ambrettes. Base is magenta, moss, amber, woods, musk, and praline. Again, something I'm like kind of eager to smell. I don't know if this would be too fruity and sweet for me. I mean, can you be too fruity and sweet? I don't think so. But um, I'm just curious to know what this smells like because the first two clouds didn't really get me, but because this kind of has a different scent profile, like a fruitier take to it, I'm wondering if that'll be more appealing. So I really want to smell this. I like how it's in a, like an affordable price range. Celebrity perfumes, I love them. But yeah, I'm super duper curious about this one. Oh, also from Sol de Janeiro, they have a brand new fragrance scent. So this is After Hours. It has warm florals with velvety notes, black currant, midnight jasmine, and amber woods. It is available now and it's $24 American. So, funny story about this. I saw this on the app and on the app it said online only. So I was like, oh my God. And I bought it, right? I bought it. And then that same day I was like, oh, I have some errands to run. Let me pop into Sephora. They had like a hundred bottles on the shelf. So I blind bought this because it's online only. Girly, it's not online only. Every Sephora has these in store. So they got me. But when I was in store, I sprayed it. I didn't like it. It just wasn't for me. There was something that was very just blah. And there was nothing interesting to it. Like, if I'm gonna get Sol de Janeiro, I'm gonna get the pink one or I'm gonna get the original yellow one. I don't know if this one is as good as you would think it is. From their whole line, and I've smelt all their limited edition ones too, the only two that I have enjoyed are the pink one and the yellow one. Everything else has been like mid to below average. So let me know your thoughts on like their other scents. This one to me, definitely smell it before you buy it because when I received it, I went to the store and I returned it. So let me know what you guys think about Sol de Janeiro. From Valentino, we have the Born in Roma Pink Eau de Parfum. So Valentino Monochromatic, inspired by the iconic Pink PP. Rock stud bottle celebrating the uniqueness of everyone and many vibrant ways to be you. A dazzling floral ambery fragrance, Madagascar bourbon, vanilla, and magnificent orange blossom accords. Top notes are mandarin, heart notes are orange blossom, and base notes are bourbon vanilla. So it's coming soon. This Valentino Born Roma line, it's not for me. There's something about it that tickles my nose. And to me, that sensation, that feeling, and that smell is what I picture people with scent allergies to feel like. It's just not a good sensation for me. It's not a good smell. And I've smelled different variations at different times and it just bothers my nose. Not that it bothers it, but it like, it hits weirdly. Like it's almost like this, the, li the liquid from the spray is like sticking to my nose hair in my nose. I don't like it. I don't like anything from this line. I wish I did because the bottles are fabulous, but I just can't get along with Valentino Born Roma. And even their other one, what is it, their Donna perfume? I can't remember the name of it. That one, it has like the same scent profile and it just bothers the heck out of my nose. I can't do it, not for me. 
already from Marc Jacobs. They have the Perfect Marc Jacobs Charm Eau de Parfum, the Collector Edition. So featuring the original perfect scent inspired by Marc's Mantua, a comforting floral scent in new limited edition packaging. Perfect Marc Jacobs Charm is a celebration of friendship in those moments of uplifting one another. It's $135 for 50 milliliters. Top notes are rhubarb and daffodil. Middle notes are almond milk. Base notes is cashmere. In. So I fully thought this was a new edition of Perfect. But it's just the same thing in a new bottle. What's different about the bottle? I'm not really sure. Oh, the bottle looks opaque instead of glass that you can see through. Get out of town. But now that I know this about Perfect, I actually own Perfect because I love the smell of it. I think the almond milk with the rhubarb gives a nice kind of like cotton candy, like light and airy scent to it. I love it and it lasts so long on my skin. I love Perfect. I don't know if the special edition, collector's edition, is worth it though. Just get the regular. So some candles. So this is a collab between Little Debbie and Goose Creek Candles. Never heard of Goose Creek before, but they have some three wick candles. So these are soy candles with essential oils and they are available now. So they have cosmic brownie, honey buns, Swiss rolls, zebra cakes, nutty buddy, oatmeal cream pie, fall party cakes, fall party delight, Christmas tree cakes, Christmas tree brownies, strawberry shortcake rolls, and fudge rounds. That's a lot of candles to release at once. And I bet they smell delicious. I bet they do. But my house is overflowing with candles. Overflowing. And also, I bet these cost an arm and a leg to, um, to ship to Canada. Let's look right now, actually. Let's go to their website. Let's pull it up. Let me just add one, for example, to my cart. I forgot to mention, these candles look like they're about $14 on sale, but maybe regular price is about $26, just from what I'm seeing. And also, let me know if you've heard of Goose Creek candles. I've never heard of them. And they don't ship anywhere except the United States. So, fantastic. Moving on. Carolina Herrera has a new edition of Good Girl. So this is Good Girl Dazzling Garden. The darker side of Good Girl, this fragrance captures a woman's wondrous complexity and duality, $136 USD, in a limited edition stiletto bottle. So top notes are sandback jasmine, tuberose crystal, middle notes are velvet almond, and base are tonka bean, cocoa, and coffee. So I definitely want to smell this. I had Good Girl Blush on my wish list for the longest time and if someone just like showed up to my doorstep with that scent I would love it but I don't think I'm going to spend my own money on it but I am curious about this because I do typically like darker heavier scents which is why I thought Sol de Janeiro After Hours would be the one but irregardless I'm loving the notes of velvet and almond and tonka bean and jasmine so I definitely want to smell this. I feel like this is probably the most interesting thing to me currently that we've spoken about so I'm keeping my out for that one. One of my favorite houses is coming out with a new scent. This is Alice Brooklyn and this is going to be Apple Love which is a love letter to New York City. The energy, the sophistication, and the head headline headlineness headiness of this iconic city. So Apple Loves bursts with the juicy photorealistic re apple and transitions to an ultra smooth blend of peach skin, nougat, plum blossom, sugar cane, and vanilla. So top notes are red apple, mandarin, sufma, and peach skin. Heart notes are plum blossom, osmanthus, muget, and sugar cane. Base notes are sandalwood, vanilla mascar, vanilla madagascar, ambrox, and musks. So it's available now in Europe and I assume it's coming soon to other retailers. I don't love an apple note. The only apple note I have is, ooh, I think it's a dupe for the Killian perfume. It's Camera by someone. I notoriously don't like apple and I've smelled apples, like I've smelled the Kayali one and I've smelled a variety of them. So I'm interested to smell it, I just don't think it'll be one that I purchase. I do love the Alice Brooklyn house but apple is just not for me. 
it's not my vibe, but I do want to smell it. So I hope it ends up in store because I know they don't have a lot of Alice Brooklyn scents in store or at least all of them. So I'm curious to smell this. From Acro, this is a new release called Rise. This is a 100 milliliter bottle and it's an eau de parfum. So it's that time of year when the days are getting shorter, the nights are getting longer, and you just wish summer could have lasted forever. At Acro, we can't promise to keep the weather good, but we can bring you a little hit of summer whenever you want. Rise is our new summer-inspired fragrance, one informed by those unforgettable summer nights of drinking pina coladas on faraway beaches or exploring the city in search of new experiences and sensations. With notes of fresh coconut water, juicy pineapple, and an added depth from creamy sandalwood, Rise is a fragrance designed to transport you back to those magical summer moments, perfect for whenever you're in need of a winter pick-me-up. So notes are coconut water, pina colada, toffee, tiare, flower, and sandalwood, and it is available now. <sighs> Lord help me, I want to try it. I might have to order a sample of this from like Lucky Scent or something, but the shipping prices from like all these American perfume retailers is crazy. Ooh, I wonder if they're on... I did find a Canadian one. What are they called? Ooh, I wonder if Eti Etiquette has them. I ordered quite a few samples from Etiquette. Um, they seem like a good retailer for these like non-mainstream perfume houses, so I'm gonna have to check their website. I don't remember if they carry Acro though. So that'll be either a make or break moment, but I definitely want to smell this. Not as excited as Carolina Herrera, but if I can get my nose on this somehow, I want to. Alrighty, from Givenchy, there's L'Interdit Rouge Ultime. So this is like a twist on their Givenchy Interdit Rouge. So top notes are neroli, orange blossom and jasmine, heart is tuberose, cocoa shell, base is patchouli, vetter, vetter and ambroxan. It looks like it's available online only at this point and it's $141 for 2.7 ounces. Now I've smelt the Intel D line and the Intel D Rouge. I do like them, but not enough to buy a bottle. Like a mini travel size sample? Sure, perfect, no complaints, like it, we'll use it, but not enough to purchase a full-size bottle and commit to that. So with that in mind, I'm not, I don't care too much for this release, if I'm being honest. And it's like, how different is this from the current Rouge? You know what I mean? So, anyways. Something I found really interesting is from Prada. So they're releasing the Prada Paradox Intense. So the notes are Jasmine, Ambrofix, and Moss. It is available now. And they have one ounce, 1.6 ounce, and three ounces for $105 to $165. This, so the original scent of this was similar to the Valentino where something was just not sitting right in my nose. I really do think it might be like something with orange blossom that I'm not vibing with but I like it I like the, everything else about it but that initial hit just bothers my nose so much I'm curious to smell this one the intense version to see if it does the same thing if it does I'm gonna ignore it if it doesn't I could be curious about it but this one's definitely something I have to smell way before I, I even consider buying it and the last thing we're gonna talk about is from Fenty Beauty so they are releasing a body cream for $86 infused with the Fenty Eau de Parfum scent. So it's the Fenty Eau de Parfum body cream, creme. It's a deliciously thick whipped oil body cream laced with notes of magnolia, musk, tangerine, and Bulgarian rose, deeply hydrates with an intoxicating scent. If I had money, I would buy this. <laughs> Like if I was rich rich, I would definitely buy this and lather myself in it every day. I have the full size bottle of the Fenty Eau de Parfum and it's delicious. I really enjoy it. Like, I'm not someone who would have a signature scent, but I, I would definitely put that in my top 10 without a shadow of a doubt. But they're also coming out with the Fenty Eau de Parfum travel set for $95. So, same scent, but it's three travel size 10 milliliter bottles in one in a convenient twist and spray container. So, it's available now. So, basically, you get 
a refillable container and you get 30 milliliters of perfume for $95, which I feel like is a really great value because their regular 10 mil travel size doesn't come in as cute as the bottle and it's like $46 Canadian. So if I didn't have the original full size, I'd probably buy that. But also if I came into money within the next year or so, I would definitely buy this and I could see this being like a perfume that lives in my purse because I feel like it's not offensive and it goes with any occasion. So like if you needed to spritz before you went to the supermarket, totally fine. You know what I mean? So I love the idea of this. I just don't currently have the means to invest in it. So just a quick recap on some of my favorites and standouts to me. The Armani Privé, would love to smell it. Definitely not going to buy it. Uh, the Carolina Good Girl, what is that? Dazzling Garden, probably the most intrigued to smell that, followed by the Acro Rise, and then the Prada Intense. If I could buy anything, it would definitely be the Fenty products though. So. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about any of these releases. Have you bought any of them? Are you interested in any of them? Or have you, like, decided, no, not for me? Let me know, and let me tell you what fragrance I am wearing today. So today I was trying to hold on to a little bit of summer because yesterday was also very warm. So I'm wearing the Mugler Angel Eau Croiser. It's a beautiful bottle. This is, like, a coconutty, creamy... Yeah, like a creamy, sugary coconut scent. I love it. So yes, that is everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more fragrance and makeup content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.